All right, guys, you guys want to see more Bruno, so um, we're going to do this morning routine. We do this every morning, and we do it like about five to seven times a day, every day. Um, Bulldogs are famous for having health complications, and Chris Jones, pay attention to this because I know your Bruno's already had some skin problems, and, you know, this stuff develops. I mean, he was fine until he was about eight years old, and all of a sudden he had started having a lot of problems with his eyes and, and stuff like that. And now he's got skin problems and ear infections and stuff that happen all the time. And we have pet insurance for him because we go to the vet so much that um, the, the visits are covered by the pet insurance. So I'm going to clean his eyes out. If you come over here and look, come here, bro. Show me your eyes. You can see that goop that's in his eyes? Okay, that gets in his eyes like all day long. So what we got to do is get rid of that goop. So clean your eyes out. So what we do is just take the paper towel and dab the goop. And it takes that, that goop off of there like that. I know, this sucks, huh? Atta boy. Get that goop out best we can. And then do the other eye because we get two eyes. This side. Dab the goop and pull it out. Like that green junk comes out of his eyes. Good boy. There we go. Get that crap out of there. Yeah. And then after we get that green goop out of his eyes, then we got to put in genteel eye drops. They're for humans, but it's like the super eye dry formula that'll keep his eyes moist because he doesn't produce tears anymore, which is the problem as to why he gets that stuff. Squirt this stuff in his eye, moving around a little bit. All right, this side too. So that's his eye thing that we do every morning. And now, because he had an ear infection, you're welcome, buddy. <laughs> Good job. He has an ear infection. This is the part you don't like. See, he doesn't like the ear stuff at all. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come on. Come on, this way, come here. Come here, look, this stuff, come on. Come on. He's not having the ears, so we're gonna have to do the ears later. But you're gonna put these drops in each one of his ears. And um, it's it's just like a, a, a flushing formula, but it smells like vinegar. It changes the acidity inside of his ears because he grows bacteria inside of his ears. So you'll have to put this in there and rub the ears around it. It's probably uncomfortable for him. I mean, it doesn't hurt him, but I don't think it feels nice having you know, a bunch of drops put in your ears. And then we have to give him his antibiotic, which you have to give him with food twice a day. So this is just like what happens now, but he's had stuff in the past where we have to give him multiple pills per day, which he's pretty good about taking them. We found a way to get him to take them. But, you know, literally until he was about nine years old, he didn't really have any problems. And all of a sudden, well, no, he's 10 now. So about seven. About seven years old, he had all kinds of problems. My last bulldog didn't have any. Lucky he had zero problems whatsoever. No eye problems, no skin problems, no ear problems. Nothing like that. He just, I guess it depends on the genetics of the dog, but um, there's different Facebook pages like the Chicago English Bulldog Rescue. Um, Baggy Bulldogs is another one. Um, you can look on these Facebook pages, and what happens is all these different bulldog owners to get together, and they put pictures and, you know, different things up of stuff that's happening to the dogs. You know, like one will put up, like, have you ever seen this thing with his eye before? And it's cherry eye, which is um, the breaking of the eyelid, the cartilage in the eyelid, and allows the eyelid to pop out. And most of the time it doesn't hurt the dog. Sometimes it can be cured with surgery. Sometimes you can actually just push on it. It'll go back in. Bruno had it when he was a puppy. It came out one day when we were walking. And uh, when he started to stress out in the heat, his eye popped out. I was like, holy shit. I ran back in the house with him, started getting all my stuff together to go to the vet. I looked and it was gone. Like the, it actually had popped out and gone back in. I didn't know what cherry eye was. It freaked me out because it looked like his eye was falling out of his head. Um, so let's give him his antibiotic now. Come on, bro. Here we go. He's limping today. All right, sit. Good boy. Now you're gonna give him his pill. Now he won't take it in a treat or a cookie or food. He'll actually eat the food around it and then spit the pill on the floor. So one day I was like, "What do we have in the refrigerator to mask it?" And since me and Carrie don't have a whole lot of spices and stuff that we use, but we use mustard on just about everything. Well, she uses mustard just about everything. You can see his face. Like he's really, he loves the mustard. So what we do is. Don't even say anything about a pill. We say <laughs> he's drooling on the floor. <laughs> Here we go, buddy. Hang on. Get some mustard on there. We cover the pill in mustard. See? You want some mustard? Look at see the drool? Can you see it on the cameras? I can pick it up. Ready? Get it. You get a little bit on his lip and it forces him to swallow and he just licks it. Yeah, get the rest off my finger. Good job. This one too. Yeah, she's filming. Get that one. Lick it. Make sure that all the mustard's off my fingers. All the mustard off the fingers. All set? Alright. That's how he takes the pill. We gotta do that twice a day. 
So be aware, if you're thinking about getting a bulldog, I don't know about other dogs, I've had other dogs and they're pretty easy to take care of. If you're thinking about getting a bulldog, this is your morning routine right here. Right here. Mustard, eye wash, eye drops, ear cleaner, your Kleenex to get the goop out of his eyes, and your antibiotics. Right?